but we oh would boy. capitalize on some of your doodling skills. Oh. I'm gonna just throw you a couple names. Bobby Cannavale. Oh boy, here we go. That's a mullet. I'm sorry, I know I'm not <laughs> supposed to be looking, but like. Bobby, you're gonna hate me for this. <laughs> Hey guys, Audrey here from HBO's Vinyl, Jack Quaid. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yes, please do oh, yes. the Miss <laughs> Do, <laughs> do the me massive crowd. <laughs> yes, all please. 10 of you in here. Hello. And, but everybody else on the internet who's watching this, oh, right? Oh, of course. Yeah. Hello, internet. When you Google your name, which I'm sure you do, or maybe you it's don't. like It's like 24 7. Yeah, me. all yeah, the time. Like, what right? is happening? <laughs> That's yeah. healthy. It's definitely healthy. Very healthy. My mind is at ease. People still know you from this little movie called The Hunger Games. It's tiny little this indie flick. Teen uh, little movie that, theaters, yeah. yeah. But people Crazy. are like, you know Jack Quaid? Like he doesn't look like how he looked like in the Hunger Games yeah, like anymore. That's, yeah, that's like how aging works. So yeah, it this, worked it's out. A yeah. little, it's you know, a little odd. Yeah, my hair's longer in this, it was shorter in that. <laughs> there are some differences, definitely. People change. People change. It happens. I've grown as a person. I, 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 <laughs> like well, I'd like to hope. Like physically, physically, emotionally, yeah. I think, I'm, I think I'm doing better. Helping that, I'm sure, is the fact that uh, on vinyl, you are working with Oh, you know, Martin Scorsese. It's, it's, it's been insane, yeah. Mick Jagger, yeah. Terrence Winter. Oh my God, these are just three heroes of mine and the fact that like I got to go to work with these people. Yeah. I'm still freaking, I'm still geeking out about it. Okay. Like I, it's just been a crazy ride. And how much of this world did you know before? Just. I mean, I know uh, you've grown up in Hollywood, you've been around sure, movies yeah. and film, but, but what about music? Well, with music, see, I, I grew up uh, in the 90s, and that's kind of when, like, boy bands were the craze, but I was never into them to the point where I, I got really? up. Really? Yeah, aren't? I wasn't. So All weird. of my friends were, though, like, okay. guys and girls were okay. both, like, severely into... Uh, severely. Severely. <laughs> severely into NSYNC <laughs> and Backstreet Boys. It was an affliction. Boys. It was just like, oh, man, they were, they were sick. Yeah. No, it, it was like... <laughs> But like I wasn't so, and I got very upset that I wasn't. You know, I was like, why? Why can't I get into Backstreet Boys? And then to kind of combat that. I like that, that was like your 90s That was my crisis. crisis. Yeah. I was like, why? <laughs> why? Why isn't this, why doesn't it do it for me? But yeah. then like I listened to uh, music like classic rock and that was kind of where I started my musical education. I grew up with that music, so to be on a show that focuses on that genre, it's insane. Do you feel like you've been able to apply some of that love to the show then? Definitely. Okay. No, I mean, there were times where like I'd read scripts and, and see that like, you know, oh, we're gonna have a guy playing such and such in the next episode. I'd be like, such and such? I know such and such. I I'm know just such and trying such. Trying not to give anything away no, right now. Okay, okay. But, you, know. <laughs> you grew up in Hollywood. Mm. Uh, you grew up around this, the industry, as, as people call yes. it. Just because your parents happen to be, oh, I don't know, Meg Ryan and, and you know, are they? Guy, oh yeah, yeah, they, yeah, no, they're. Afraid. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't know if you know, but I, I should know. <laughs> now, did they encourage you to pursue acting? They not. They didn't really encourage it or uh, try to persuade me against it. I got the performing bug somewhere in my childhood. Like I was always into like doing magic tricks for people and stuff like that. Really? Nothing good. Nothing like. What like, was your signature trick? Like, like do you um, still remember? Like it? no, it was just did this. You? It was like you see this pillow. Now close your eyes. Open them, applot them. Five years old. Yeah, Where no, did... it's that's all it is. <laughs> no. Oh, oh here, let's that's see the, the slow worst. Clap. Oh, no, the slow clap. There you oh, go. Oh, look how I feel right now. <laughs> this is just shame. This oh, look, is... it's your self-esteem. It's on the floor. Oh, oh hi. Oh, no, I'll leave you down there. <laughs> I remember I did my first like play where I like mm -hmm. stayed after school. I got my first lap on stage, and I was like, this is what mm -hmm. I want to do for the rest of my life. Like that was the best feeling. Did you ever have a backup plan? No, <laughs> I'm just like not realizing that. Like I heard something about being like terrifying. a lawyer or you yeah, know, like maybe I thought toying with that vaguely idea. Vaguely maybe try to be like a wildlife photographer because you get to travel. That sounds fun. Yeah. Slash dangerous. Dangerous, like that was yeah. the thing. Like I don't want to get It's eaten. like the fun kind of danger Yeah, it's though. fun kind of dangerous. Yeah. Where it's mm -hmm. like you tell stories in bars afterwards. Like, yeah, I yeah. lost this arm to a shark I was trying to f photograph. Wow. Or whatever, yeah. you know. That, it was either that way for acting. It could be like really Went cool stories acting. or it could be like The Revenant. And you're exactly. Like, eh, yeah, yeah so bear fights. You also yeah. doodle. I doodle. You doodle. So I thought we would oh boy. capitalize on some of your doodling skills. Okay. Improv doodling okay. skills. So improv doodling skills. I have skills. a pen and so a couple excited. note cards. Okay. I'm going to just throw you a couple names. Oh, boy. And if you can just... Just, oh boy. Just go wherever the inspiration takes you. Bobby Cannavale. Oh boy, here we go. Okay. <laughs> and keep it, we'll keep it G, PG rated. Of course. Maybe PG-13. I mean, usually when I start <laughs> doodling, uh, I start with oh, the eyes. Like they do look like <laughs> initially, but that is not, that is not the case. That's a mullet. I'm sorry, I know I'm not supposed to be looking, but like. Oh man, this is gonna, Bobby, you're gonna hate me for this. <laughs> I swear to God, this isn't you. 
Let me throw you another one. Oh, oh God. Olivia Wilde, Olivia oh, Wilde. Oh no. Yeah. You should charge people for this. I am super impressed right like the now. Gary Larson of actors. You don't. <laughs> what are you drawing? Oh, those no, are No, no, no. Guys, look, I warned you. I know it's Olivia because you put eyelashes on her. I did. Yeah. <laughs> no that's one else has know. eyelashes exactly. besides Olivia Wilde. Yeah, that's how you know it's a girl. <laughs> that's how you know it's a girl. Everyone's gonna hate me after these drawings. No. That's what's gonna happen. Cool. I really like that she looks like, do you remember Kathy from Oh no, <laughs> no. Okay, if anybody, this is pretty good. Olivia Wilde, one of the most beautiful people in the entire world, <laughs> Kathy. I've made the connection and, and I, oh no, this is good. I love it. Good. Really quick before we go, I have a game for you. It's yes. called Heard It Through the Grape Vinyl. Ooh. So true or false, Jimmy Page of Led Zeppelin once said he wanted to work in biological research. I'm gonna say true. It is true. Okay, that was yes. A guess. Nicely okay. done. He said it when he was like 13. Really? On a talent show. Who inspired the Rolling Stones name? Was it A. Muddy Waters, B. BB King, C. Bob Dylan? It was Muddy Waters. Perfect. Yeah, I knew that. Two, I knew two that. for two. Okay. All right, here's the cool clincher okay. about your boss, one of your bosses. Oh, no. True or false? The Queen of England personally knighted Sir Mick Jagger, AKA your boss, in 2003. I know he was knighted. Yes, you should call him sir. I should call him see. sir. <laughs> he should also walk through set with a sword all the time. He really uh, should. That's that, what I would that'd do. That'd be enjoyable for me. Yeah. Um, you should tell him. You should pitch him that <laughs> do idea. Do this for me, man. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say it's a trick question. I'm going to say false. He was not personally knighted. Well, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, so here's what happened. Okay. Prince Charles actually did it. The rumor oh. is the queen disagreed with Mick's anti-establishment views. Oh. That's the rumor, according to the internet. Oh, really? Anyway, yeah. Well, look who yeah. came out on top. I know, Mick exactly. Ja I don't I know. <laughs> queen of England, Mick Jagger, I think they're both uh, doing pretty well. Yeah, I don't yeah. know, but if, if he carries around a sword on set, I mean, then you come out on top, uh, Yeah. I think. That's Jack, a good this life was then. Hey, this was so awesome. So much fun. Thank you. Wait, um, look at my elbow. <laughs> oh my God, hold on. That was all me. <laughs> she was doing great, I messed up. Fantastic. Um, can I keep these? Please keep Please? them. Please? Are yeah. they gonna be worth, I don't know. They're worth nothing. I, but, would, uh, <laughs> I would pay $10 for these and I would pay cash. So hey. they're worth something. Okay, okay. $10 is at least $20 for me. It's fantastic. <laughs> Please come back. Of course, thank you. This was so much fun.